one of my very first characters that I tried in Ultimate right as the game came out was actually Roy. And he was actually supposedly originally going to be my main. I was actually going to be a Roy main. But then as the game developed, my idea kind of changed. And then I ended up maining different characters. I, I just felt like Roy's speed, strength, balance, recovery. I thought he was going to be one of the better characters in the game. Turns out I was wrong. Not one of the best characters in the game. But at the very least, he is a high tier competitive character. So, I mean, in a game with, you know, 70 something characters, he is pretty good. Well, this is a very fun matchup. Any character that's tall enough to get hit by sure help neutrally as you're doing like a rising one from the ground. So you don't have to like time it on the way down. It's generally a matchup that you're probably going to have a very good time with. Now, what I really like about Roy is just I feel like the boy's acting of the character is unbelievably good. Like the character just sounds like he's doing a lot of damage. And the fact that he does so much damage and power in all his moves, it just feels very satisfying for me to use. Now, one thing that I found really cool about Roy is the fact that he is the best version of Roy we've ever had, really. You know, he's not really usually a good character. I mean, he's only really been a part of like you know, three games. He's been a part of Melee, Smash 4, and Ultimate. And Ultimate, you know, that's the best iteration. In Smash 4, he was like kind of mediocre, I want to say. Like, I originally also over overestimated him in that game quite famously, unfortunately. <laughs> The reason I actually wanted to play Roy today was because Tweak won a tournament. I'm sure most of you guys know him, but in case you guys didn't know him, he's a professional player. And he won using uh, a counter pick of Roy in Grand Finals. So I was like really excited to, you know, try Roy as well. I was like, oh, I want to I wanna play Roy now. Oh, so you hear that? You hear that? The voice acting is fantastic. Oh, that young force smash. Yeah. I weakened the shield with the jab and then I went for the force smash. No problem. There you go, boy. The good thing about Roy's Force Mission in this game is that they changed it a little bit. So now you don't have to be immediately close to them. It's a little bit more mid range. Not the tip of the sword, of course, but yeah, you have a little bit more range than in previous iterations for sure. I also love these off stage combos. Like once you land an aerial, you can drag the opponent off the level and then you can just combo multiple areas. And I really like that because it. You know, that makes Roy be a lot stronger off the level than a lot of characters are in this game. And obviously, that's a lot of fun. That translates to fun gameplay because you can keep up and mix up your gameplay quite a bit. I didn't really read my opponent there. Like, I didn't expect the Zelda player to go for spot duck. It was more so I just took a small pause to kind of mix it up. I'm trying to time the up here to kind of catch him at the ledge. That is a guaranteed kill confirm. You can always go for the quarter. The backer is harder and depends on the DI, but it's definitely a lot stronger. You can kill people like at 70 or 80 within. Also, Roy's border has almost no lag. Because you can actually just like uh, sure hop for it, rice in, and then you don't have to actually land at all. Like that. Oh, yeah, that's the good amount of damage we needed. We gotta be careful, Harlan. <gasps> oh, that killed me! Oh! Kill me so early too. Well, you already know what they say. That the game three is more exciting. Oh, almost caught the up B right there. Yeah, we get that early kill. I noticed that she had like a little habit of rolling. You see how Roy's combos just flow really well. Oh, unintentional combo. Well, I guess it wasn't really a combo because she managed to, I guess, land on the ground real quick. But it's one of those like aqua like position combos. Ooh, we get that three stock game three. There you go. We get that dominant win. not an option. Exactly. You'll tell him, Roy. Tell him. Tell him. Oh, we found the same Zelda player. Emergency best of five. Mitch the Legend. I love how you can space his down though. Yeah. Right as she was about to land, I threw that up, so. Reacted to the uh, edge guard by up being a little bit early. You want to defend yourself. Oh, my God. Almost got the hardest read of the, of the entire play session. <laughs> if only he rolled the other way. That still killed me. I forget Roy's uh, counter. It has a lot of cooldown. There you go. Yeah, I baited that. <laughs> baited that neutral beat. It's all we needed to do. He was getting a little obvious with them. Oh, we have Jigglypuff. 
Raise recovery dies to like one or two puff aerials off the level. There's a matchup that's like kind of stressful for both people, really. That should be a kill. Yeah, that is a kill. Even though uh, Puff has such a good recovery, she can't recover from an air dodge off the level like that. Ow, that combo. Ow. Yeah, the counter has a surprise. Now the Puff is going to have to be a little bit more careful now. Next time she tries to juggle me. I felt safe countering there, mainly because Puff doesn't have a uh, smash attack that can get over there. You have to kind of make a hard read with an aerial. Oh, that's the one. Oh, ran out of jumps, actually. Never touched the ground. Interesting. I had to slow down the pace of this type either, just in case it wasn't going to land. I had to be careful. There you go. I knew Puff didn't have jumps, so she was just drifting off the level there. Like, she didn't have, like, either she didn't have jumps or she had, like, one. I felt comfortable there covering the space. I was like, she's probably just backing out to the ledge. Let me just do, like, a reaching really far away. Uh, backer and that did the trick like the trick that I used is that instead of hitting where I think the opponent is going to drift towards driving the ledge I kind of hit over here where I think they're going This matchup is really interesting because not only is snake one of the most common characters But the way Roy and snake interact with each other is that if you hit snake's shield in any capacity with your sword And you're a little close you're going to blow up the grenade So how can you you know keep range from the grenade? Well, the interesting part is that if you actually space your uh, hits properly, you actually don't want to land weak spots all the time. Because if you land sour spots, you can actually combo into, you know, a couple different things. But also, uh, is that even though Roy doesn't have the most range, uh, he can still outrange grenades and whatnot. And also, another very interesting thing to know is that no, you don't have to necessarily outrange the grenade. You can also just hit the part of Snake's body that doesn't cover the grenade. For example, his feet or his head are places that you can kind of snipe, if that makes sense. Like you see how I snipe his head there? Because remember, Snake pulls the grenade behind him and in his back. So you have to kind of just hit him everywhere else. Oh, damn. I threw the three stuck. Oh, no. Never mind. Where are you going? <laughs> I snipe his feet. Like I said, hit in the feet. No, I try to be a little... I try to delay a little bit so we'll grab it barely. See, there's some matchups where like characters are just more annoying if you're on the lead or not. So for example, Snake is definitely one of those characters where like if you're losing, he's way more frustrating. Well, there's characters that are actually easy if you're slightly losing against them. For example, Peach is one of those characters. Now you may wonder why. Mainly because Peach gets like insane com uh, combos at low percent. But if you're behind by a certain uh, percentage threshold, you can't get combo anymore. It's more about straight hit. Oh, the weak hit. Oh, the weak hit killed him. Oh, that's hilarious. No. Game three. Ah, that was impeccable. There you go. Don't roll behind me like that. Hey, that's all we needed. The weak hit. Let's go. No, I got so greedy. There you go. Let's go. What a combo. What a combo to win game three. Let's go. Dark Pit and Pit are a little annoying for Roy, I want to say. Because these characters can jump in very annoying ways to have projectiles. So you don't. So it's kind of annoying to approach them because they have good dashing. Good dash attack to call out with sword punishes. And then the arrows make it annoying for you to recover as well. And then on top of it, they can just mix up their landing really well, making it hard for you to get a kill. There you go. Up to the right is that behind me. Yeah, I like the fact that he landed on the platform like that. That way I can get some upper combos. Oh my god. The first hit triggered it, but the second kill me. Oh, he's catching me sweating. Now we need revenge because we got destroyed last match. Oh, I needed that strong pin. This is really tight. There you go. Let's go. Trying to beat that double jump right above me. There you go. I was like, if you feel pressure at the ledge, you're most likely to roll. So I just, I pretty much just put the fourth till there, covered the option. They ended up doing it more than like me making a read. It was more me just covering options. Wow, kill me. 
Oh, that guy risked everything. I think that would have killed me, probably. There you go. Waited for him to drift towards the ledge, and we got that back here. Same as the puff, man. Wow, he left before game three? Oh. Man, I really wanted to play that guy in a game three. But hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video for today. Let me know if you ha had a good time with that. Let me know in the comments below what characters you would like to see me play. Make sure to subscribe so you keep up with my daily videos. Drop a like, you know, and obviously I'm always looking forward to you guys' feedback. With that said, you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys around.